Hi everyone, this is Vikyong. Alright, today I'm just going to show you how to set up a persona management for Vue 5.0. It's a bit complicated and I have to refer to several notes and as well as some website and of guides how to set up the share folders which I provide the link in my blog. Uh, please refer to my blog for that. And um, what are the things that you need to do? Um, I'm just going to go through on the high level overview. I'm not going to go in depth. So most of them you can actually find it from the View 5.0 administration guide where there are links to show you how to create the share folders as well as how to um, import the group policies provided in the View Manager all right, um, into your Active Directory. Or you can also um, apply this to your master image or your master template and um, provision this through the desktop to get whatever you need. However, today I'm just going to show you how you can do this uh, via the Active Directory which is a preferred way uh, for myself and I think it's easier to manage as well. That is if you have the access to the Active Directory. And I will also encourage you to actually view the VMware View Persona Deployment Guide. Um, all the links will be provided in my blog and I'll try to do this um, as simple as possible so that you can actually get this up. Okay, here you can see this is my um, view administrator view. Okay, before we start, we have to start um, by going uh, to create a file server which I have and you can see that my D drive is a shared drive. I created a folder Win7 and a profile. Inside will actually contain all my uh, view persona data where you can see that um, here is my redirected folder using view persona. I must let you know that I'm not using any um, roaming profile in this case. And um, also you see a V2. What happened is this actually contains the um, data of the user, um, those application data, template, um, all the settings are actually in here and the only the owners are able to actually browse this because I have already set the permission um, so to speak and um, as you can see I can't access this and dot v2 is actually version 2 of the profiles which exists uh, in Windows 7 if uh, for XP you actually in uh, version 1 Okay, so here you can see I have actually set up the permissioning and um, and everything and uh, we are ready to go for my file server. So what I have to do is I have to go to my view manager and under the path uh, of program files if you are on 32 uh, on a 32 bit windows uh, server or um, program files x86 for 64 bit uh, Windows Server and under VMware, VMware View, under Server, Extra and under Group Policy Files you actually see some of the group policies here and uh, here I actually um, imported this tool which is the PC over IP uh, policy which actually used to configure the uh, how the desktop will be streamed using PC over IP like um, you enable lossness or you're going to turn it off and have it as perpetually lossness and uh, the bandwidth uh, for the desktop as well as uh, the frame rate uh, by default is I think 24 frames and you can actually reduce it further uh, or increase this if you have a higher bandwidth and of course not forgetting we are talking about view persona you have to place this into your active directory so how can I do this so let's go to my Active Directory. What you have to do first is to open your um, group policy management. Uh, let me just get this uh, clear. All right, uh, in your AD, and under you can create an OU. For my case, I actually created an OU called V Desktop. Here I'm placing all my uh, desktop pools into this uh, OU. And I actually created a GPO and here I have and I'm just going to right click and edit it and this will bring me all right uh, to the group policy management editor so here what we got to do based on what the deployment guide as well as the administration guide from view 5 
under the section for personal management. Um, you can actually browse to the administration template and click add and remove. And you can see that I actually added both my uh, policies uh, which is PCOIP and view personal management. And after adding it, you will have this. Uh, uh, do know this is for Windows 2008. Uh, it might be slightly different, uh, but you should be able to identify uh, if you are a window person. Um, you should be able to see all this. And so under classic, everything will be appear under classic administration template. And you will see my uh, PCOIP uh, session variables, and these are the variables you can connect. All right, this you can actually configure and uh, go by the best practice guide. And of course, uh. I'm sorry about my background sound. Um, my my place is near a train station. All right. Um, here we're gonna have uh talk about persona management. And here you can see the persona management. You have room syncing, uh, folder redirection, and these are all the folders that you can have it. And by default, I have actually edited mine to point to uh my file server. And do note that. The username um, is using a variable, all right. And basically, I actually define my document, music, picture, and video. I only did this for the rest are all not redirected. And um, okay, let me see what else I need to show you guys, which is very important. Um, all right, application roaming. Uh, that is if you want to store your application data into the roaming. So basically, you can configure all this with all the right um, path. And of course, you can also show some progressive file for downloading large files. Okay, and uh, you can do some logs as well. Okay, let me just do this. Uh, let's see what other settings we can do. Also now repository. Yes, this is the one. You have to specify where to deposit um your user persona and this is where you will be stored as you can see this is the folder that I was unable to access if you remember this correctly yep um, I was only able to access the redirected folders but not this um, persona repository location alright um, if you have an active directory user profile path you can actually override this Okay, in um, by VMware, this I understand is that uh, try to use view persona. It will improve your locking time because it's download as required. Unlike auto ro roaming profile, it has, it has to actually download complete of the whole profile data and settings before it will actually let you lock in, and this will delay your locking time. And uh, the advantage of having the uh, instead of roaming profile versus uh, persona management is that everything is under here. If I were to do auto roaming, I have to go to other uh, folders inside this uh, group policy to edit separately for my folder redirection, etc. So I prefer as a uh, one place to configure it all. So if you are using a uh, roaming profile, you can actually still use it. If not, uh, switch to uh, persona management. Okay. Um. So basically, uh, this is how you just configure it. Um. Everything here, and. That's it. You have it, and I'm just gonna show you a demo on how can I actually just log in to my. Offline desktop, and you can see the performance of it, as well as how the redirected folders are going. Okay. Um, okay. Let's just do a medium. Okay, we can just do a, uh, a large window. Okay, you can see this connected. Um, I'm actually connecting via a virtual machine inside my ESX server and um, connecting to my connection server, which is also another virtual machine, so it's slightly slower. And here you can see, um, oops, uh, you saw that the uh, icon, of course, I just removed it. Uh, <coughs> 
So basically, this is how it's loaded, and you realize that um, only on clicking will that comes about. And uh, all right, and you can see two locations here because one of them is actually directing to the file server. All right and uh, the other is actually a public folder so you can actually remove this public folder if you want to um, you can do this inside your master template all right uh, before provisioning your desktop that's what i didn't do <laughs> and basically this is um, how fast you get the login if you are not using a persona management this will take even longer because everything has a login and you'll see that spiral there all right i think um, that's about it for me Alright, um, I'm signing off. Uh, do leave me any comments if you need any help. Um, I'll try to reply them and um, uh, uh, refer to my blog for all the links and guides that which I actually refer to before building this uh, view persona in view 5.0. And that's all for me. Signing off.